cut us a few bones off the slab. Alright, sometimes it's hard to get in between them bones. You gotta search for it. Hey everybody, Mike Chavez here once again. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, a while back, my good friend Has, Steve Has Life Fultz of Has Life on YouTube, asked me to uh, do a video for him on how to trim spare ribs. Okay, so I know he already knows how to trim spare ribs some, but he wants to see how I do it. So today we're going to trim some spare ribs and then we're going to put them out on the char griller gravity 980 and uh, cook them up so what i got back here is a full slab of ribs now normally when i do spare ribs i buy what they call the st louis cut that's already pretty much trimmed but i'll show you what i got back here first thing you need for this is a stout knife okay so i got my eight inch chef's knife it needs to be good and sharp so you want to Put it on your steel a few times. Make sure it's good and sharp. Alright, so let's go back here and trim these ribs up. Alright y'all, so this is a full slab of spare ribs. Normally when you see uh, spare ribs in the grocery store, you get this part right here. Okay? This here are the rib tips. They come from here to here. If we turn this thing over, you can see on the back, got a lot of fat, skin. We're gonna get rid of all of that, hunk of fat here. So, what I like to do, we'll start on this side. So you kinda wanna fill, and you're gonna cut straight down and get that bone off, get, that, uh, get the rib tips off. Which this is mostly um, cartilage, so, It'll cut through pretty easy. Like I said, you need a good stout knife for this. Like I said, I got my uh, my chef's knife. So what you do, just kind of measure how wide you want them. Normal slab, about there. Okay, and we come right down. Cut through. Straight down. Pretty easy, nothing to it. So now, you got the spares up here. Let's see if I got you where you can see it. You got the spares up here and the rib tips here. So let's move those rib tips over for a second. We'll come over here. Got some fat and whatnot hanging off over here. So we needed the heavy knife to get uh, cut through that bone and cartilage. So now we're gonna get the uh, fillet knife and go through here and kind of trim this fat. Okay, so you wanna get rid of a lot of this fat. You wanna bite through a mouthful of fat when you eat these. So you just wanna get this heavy fat. It won't all render. So just come through, get rid of these pockets. You gotta be real anal about it, I guess you could say. Come over here, all this loose stuff right here. Kinda go like that. Now we could trim these up. Kind of square them off like that all right turn it around over here you got a pocket of fat here try and do this so y'all can see it there we go got some skin silver skin right here get rid of that
a little bit more fat here. We'll get rid of that. Got a little silver skin and whatnot up here. Trim that off. All right, this side looks not too bad. Let's flip it. See what this side looks like. So here, you got a flap, big flap right there. And you can see that, nice big flap. So we'll come through, get rid of that flap. Come over here, we got uh, some pockets of fat here. We'll get rid of that. Up here, get rid of that. All right. Okay, so now what you want to do is get rid of this membrane here. Now, the way we do that, get you a paper towel. Try to get a piece of it. Try to get this edge up. You can use a knife and go under if you want. But if you take your time, if you can get a hold of it and get it started, once it gets started, it's usually pretty simple. See that there? Just pull that off of here. You don't want this, this is all chewy like a rubber band. All right, so we'll look through this. See what we got. Got a little more stuff here. I'm gonna take off. That's about it. So that's pretty much a St. Louis cut rib. I probably could have cut this a little I probably could have cut some more off of this chine bone or this uh, rib tip bone, but that's all right. We'll leave it just like that. And there's a little bit of fat here. Take as much off as you want. All right. That'll mostly render. So, so this was a funny rib. Had that pocket of fat in between that bone. So we got rid of that. All right. So that's it for that. That's St. Louis cut spare rib. Put that over there. Now, let's see these rib tips here. So the rib tips are pretty fatty. So what I'm gonna do is cut this in half. All right, and we'll come back here, give it a bunch of this fat. A lot of fat on this. All that, get rid of it. Got some skin here and more fat. Get rid of that. This here's some uh, more. So, need a good sharp knife. Filet knife is good for this, or a boning knife. Whatever you happen to have. I like this filet knife. This is my bubble blade here. A lot of times I use my Rapala fillet knife. Usually in my videos you see me with my Rapala fillet knife. But the bubble blade is really good. So let's get rid of some of this loose stuff here. Alright, we got some more fat pockets up in here. We can get rid of it or leave it, depending on how much fat you want on your rib tips. Rib tips can be pretty fatty, so you want to get rid of most of that. This here... That's bone or cartilage. Over here, got this strip of fat. So we'll get rid of most of that. So that ain't too bad. So we'll go with that. Now, get this piece. 
got a large hunk of skin and fat here. We'll get rid of that. Got a little silver skin here. But it ain't too bad. It's pretty thin. But we'll trim up. Get rid of that fat. Alright. That's mostly a hunk of fat there. We'll fillet that off. Clean this up, make it pretty. There you go. The other half of the rib tip. In piece. All right, so let me rearrange this and I'll arrange the cuts and I'll bring it right back. All right, so out of an entire slab of ribs, you got your St. Louis cut spares, you got your two. Uh, your rib tips and our end flap that we cut off from over here. All right, so now we're just gonna get uh, rub them down. And now it's getting dark on me. It's five o'clock already. These are gonna take a little while. So uh, I'm gonna get my compact light set up outside. Get my cooker fired up. We're just gonna cook these regular barbecue spare ribs. Okay, so be right back. All right, so we're not gonna do anything fancy with these. I got some uh, Uncle Steve's Spicy R or Spicier uh, rub. So I want a little spice. Let's flip this over. We'll do the bone side first. So we'll come up. Get the bone side. Don't need a whole lot. It can be real light on the bone side. All right, get our pieces, get the tips. Now we're going to come back with our Cosmos Honey Killer Bee. Get them all covered. Want them seasoned well. So, I'm going to go fire the grill up and I'll take you on out there. Alright, so, we'll get the whole rack, get it up there, kind of compress it a little bit, get the rib tips, one there. The other one here, get this flat piece and put it over here. I don't know if you can see, they uh, sweated really nice. So we'll put these to bed. And we're gonna give this about two hours, I think. So after two hours, we'll come back and wrap them with uh, honey, butter, and brown sugar. All right, y'all, these have been in here for two hours at 300 degrees so what I'm going to do some butter on there so wrapping it like this will tenderize it on up Add some sweetness, a little brown sugar. All right. Get some honey on there. Put the lid out the way.
There we go. All right. Wrap it on up. So with the rib tips, we're going to do basically the same thing, but we're going to do them in a pan. All right. Piece of foil. Seal it up good. All righty then. We'll put that to bed for about an hour. And we'll come take it off and sauce it up. All right. All right, now for our barbecue sauce today, we're going to keep it pretty simple. I got some sweet baby rays uh, honey. So we're going to take a good amount of sweet baby rays, enough for the ribs and the tips, <clears throat> about a cup and a half or so. Then I want to thin this out so it ain't all clumpy. So I'll take our vinegar sauce, and vinegar barbecue sauce. Dump a bunch of that in there. All right, then I'm gonna take a shot of my favorite bourbon. This is uh, Jim Beam Devil's Cut. We don't want a whole lot. Maybe a tablespoon. Give it a mix. See how thick that is. Thin it out a little bit more with the vinegar sauce. We don't want this runny, but we don't want it gloppy. There we go. That looks pretty good right there. Take a peek. See what we got. Check the rib tips. Oh yeah. So take them out, set them on the grate. Right then, let's kind of spread these out, sauce them up. Give these about 10 minutes. <clears throat> All right, y'all. So, here's the rib tips. 
So we'll take these, cut them in pieces. There we go. Look at that. Nice and juicy, tender, sticky. Cut us a few bones off the slab. All right. Sometimes it's hard to get in between them bones. You gotta search for it. So let's give these a try. Look really good. All right, y'all. Some before Christmas spare ribs and rib tips. So we took a whole packer spare rib, trimmed it, and cooked it up. A little drive by. Look at that. Oh my. All right, y'all. Here we go. Look at that there. It is lovely, lovely. So, let's see what we got here. Spare rib, look at that. Juicy, tender, smells really good. Y'all ready? Taste! Mmm. That's pretty darn good. So we did it. Hot and fast. We cooked it for two hours. Wrapped it, cooked it for another hour, took it out, sauced it, and then cooked it probably another 30 minutes. So three and a half hours. If you do spare ribs low and slow, that's a five hour job, but this ain't bad. All right. Mmm. Really good. So let's try some of these rib tips. These are the rib tips that we trimmed off. Look at that. Ready? Rib tips. Taste! Pretty darn good, y'all. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I really did this video to demonstrate to my friend Haz from Haz Life on YouTube. I'll leave his link below. Y'all check him out. He does some awesome fishing up around DC on the Potomac River. He wanted me to demonstrate my method for trimming ribs. So that's a whole packer spare rib right there. Trimmed up, cooked up, delicious. So I hope you enjoyed the show. If you enjoyed the video, leave me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And by all means, hit that subscribe button. So uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.